Hey, hello, my friends. How are you doing? It's uh, Poet WP. I'm here with you again. And read some more Dhammapada, sayings of the Buddha. Mind. As the Fletcher whittles and makes straight his arrows, <clears throat> so the master directs his straying thoughts. Like a fish out of water, Stranded on the shore, thoughts thrash and quiver. <clears throat> For how can they shake off desire? They tremble. They are unsteady. They wander at their will. It is good to control them, and to master them brings happiness. But how subtle they are, how elusive The task is to quieten them, and by ruling them find happiness. With single-mindedness, the, the master quells his thoughts. He ends their wandering. Seated in the cave of the heart, he finds freedom. How can a troubled mind understand the way? If a man is disturbed, he will never be filled with knowledge. The untroubled mind, no longer seeking to consider what is right and what is wrong, a mind beyond judgment, watches and understands. Know that the body is a fragile jar and made of, and make a castle of your mind. Every trial, let understanding fight for you. To defend what you have won. For soon the body is discarded. Then what does it feel? A useless log of wood. It lies on the ground. Then what does it know? <clears throat> your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own thoughts unguarded. Now that's a very, very important statement right there. That's an important part of the text. Don't be your own worst enemy. But once mastered, no one can help you as much, not even your father or your mother. You must master our own thoughts. Timeless wisdom, my friends. Timeless wisdom that applies throughout all ages. And in this new age, we will have to come back to this wisdom. We will have to root our hearts in compassion and follow the causes in life that eliminate suffering. That is to be our task now. That is what we must all do now. We all have to take it up the cause. No more motivation on pure self-interest alone. We can no longer afford that in this culture. It's time to awaken. It's time to act for the greater good. And for the sake of the planet, too. we got to save the planet. The politicians are... Um, you know, the Environmental Protection Agency is now the Environmental Pollution Agency. Things have to change. The Great Reckoning is coming. St. Michael. Alright. Catch you later.